There's a line of a song I wrote that Beyonce included in her new song, Church Girl. Thanks, Beyonce, for listening to my music. God bless you, friends. Thank you for joining me on Morning Nuggets. This is yours truly, Pastor Nate. As always, it is my absolute pleasure when I can speak with you. I pray that this video finds you exceptionally well. well. Twinkie Clark from the Clark Sisters. Thanks, Beyonce. Twinkie Clark is a master at playing the organ. She's part of the Clark Sisters. That group has gained great respect over the years. I have not heard any scandal. As far as I'm concerned, the group operates with integrity. They really love God. And I believe that they're living all they know how for the Lord. I love the group. I love their spirits. I love their music. And of course, Beyonce is a worldwide icon who sings and dances. She's a great performer. Of course, it's considered worldly music. But Twinkie Clark thinks Beyonce and the church is in an uproar. Of course, you know, the scripture says we shouldn't mix darkness with light. The song Church Girl is filled with sexual innuendos. It's of a sexual nature. It's talking about twerking. It's talking about thotty. Those types of words are in the song and many other words that I am not able to say. So it's of a sexual nature. The start of the song starts off with the Clark sisters and Twinkie Clark makes a video telling Beyonce, thank you. My question to you is, should Twinkie have said thank you? I mean, that's great for Twinkie to say thank you, I believe. It's a form of flattery when you got someone as big as Beyonce using your music or should Twinkie have said, thank you, Beyonce, but I prefer you not to mix my music with music of a sexual nature. We should mix the world music with gospel music. After all, I'm trying to promote the gospel and, and, and lift up the name of Jesus and mixing this with that, it didn't look so good. Should Twink have said that? I don't know. Or maybe is it a money thing? Is it giving the Clark sisters and Twinkie more publicity? Not that they haven't gotten it, but uh, with Beyonce backing them up, will that take their publicity to the next level? Will it cause more money, maybe more royalties to come in to the Clark sisters? I mean, Twinkie didn't seem to have an issue with it. I remember a couple of years ago, Kanye play the Clark sisters music. They thanked him, but they also said, we own the rights to this music. At Twinkie Clark, we own the rights to this music. That let me know we have a problem with you using our stuff and getting paid and we're not getting anything. So could it have been in Beyonce's situation is different? Maybe they are getting something for that. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think, but the church is saying, we shouldn't mix that. Beyonce is a talented young lady, but the song is filled with sexuality. She's expressing that, but I also think that she's talking about the state of the church. And I think she's promoting this behavior. That's what's going on. You go into the club, you dropping, you twerking, you doing whatever. And then you come in on Sunday and giving God praise. Some of you are leading praise and worship. Some of you are pastors and ministers, but you're condoning this behavior. Now that we shouldn't do. And that's why the church has lost its power. That's why people don't respect the church no more because the church is looking like the world. And as Beyonce say, hey, this is what the church is looking like anyway, so you might as well. Or is Beyonce, um, some people say she might be hurt. Some people say she's sending a message to the church. You let me know what you think. All I know is, we can't serve two masters. I want to play clips of various people who have made commentary on this song. I want you to hear what they have to say. But what she says in the song does not open up an opportunity for the listeners to, to really 
get God from it. It's going to be church girls singing this. Oh, yeah. You know, ain't nothing wrong with going to church and doing this and, and, and having a little fun on the weekend. But they don't realize that's the spirit of Jezebel. In the morning, I'm doing God's work. But right but now. But tonight. Hey, she finna let loose, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's called balance. They're a church girl. because So they go to church on Sunday morning, but they kicking it in the club on Saturday night, the night before church. And she's actually kind of encouraging this and championing this idea. Let me know what you think. If you think nothing was wrong with it, let me know. If you think something was wrong with this, let me know. You know, I love your opinions. I love your views. I always read them and I respond. You may not agree with me and you may. If you feel like you're getting value from these videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Pastor Nate be glad to have you part of the smart family. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces. Till next time.